With Valentine's Day fast approaching, we decided we would show you a really unique way to make white chocolate covered strawberries. So today, I'm gonna to show you a simple and easy method to make them look like they were done by a professional. So first, we're gonna take one pound of strawberries. We've already washed these strawberries and dried them thoroughly. You don't want any moisture left on the strawberries because that'll mess with the chocolate later. On the top of each strawberry, you see where the stem inserts into the rest of the green. Right there in that stem, you're gonna take a toothpick and you're gonna insert it into the center of the strawberry and go about three quarters of the way through. We're gonna do this with each of the strawberries and it makes them so much easier to handle. For this recipe, we're gonna be using two different types of chocolate. We have semi-sweet chocolate and we have white chocolate. In this bowl, I have one ounce of semi-sweet chocolate chips that I have already chopped finely. And to this bowl, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of vegetable shortening. And then in this larger bowl, I have eight ounces of white chocolate chips that I've finely chopped. You'll notice that the bowl is pretty deep um, you want a deeper bowl rather than a wider bowl because the goal is to almost completely submerge the strawberry. To the white chocolate, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vegetable shortening. What the vegetable shortening does to the chocolate is it prevents it from hardening quickly, so it gives you a longer amount of time that you can work. With each of these types of chocolate, I'm gonna microwave them in 30 second intervals at 30% power. If you do any higher than 30% power, the chocolate will seize up and become hard and you won't be able to use it. So I'm going to put this melted chocolate into a piping bag. An easy trick for filling up a piping bag is to set the piping bag into a cup and pull the edges over the side of the cup. You'll notice that this is a very small amount of chocolate, but the semi-sweet chocolate is only a fine decoration on the white chocolate, so you don't need that much of it. Push the chocolate as far down to the bottom as you can. Tie off your bag. While I melt my white chocolate, I'm gonna put this semi-sweet chocolate in a cup of warm water. I have not cut the tip yet. I'm just gonna put the bag in so that the warmth from the water keeps the chocolate melted. So I'm gonna take semi-sweet chocolate and dry the outside of the bag completely and just cut a very small hole. You're gonna take each strawberry and you're gonna dunk it and swirl it in the white chocolate and lift it up and let the excess drip off. You're gonna tilt the strawberry to one side, take the semi-sweet chocolate and just pipe about four or five lines across the surface of the chocolate. Take a toothpick and run it down from the top of the strawberry to the bottom of the strawberry, and it'll create this toothed effect that is incredibly professional looking. Set this aside on a parchment lined baking sheet. I'm gonna repeat this process with the rest of the strawberries. You might be noticing that between each stroke, I'm wiping off the toothpick, and that's just to make sure that none of the semi-sweet chocolate gets rubbed back into the white chocolate each time I run the line down. So now we're just gonna let them sit on the counter for about 30 minutes until the chocolate hardens up. We remove the toothpicks, and as you can see, it's a really simple and elegant way to make something quite romantic. So make it for someone you care about, or just for yourself.